Hi, this is Tom Reardon, math teacher from Ohio. We're looking at why should we be using TI Inspire CX. This is a calculus activity, uh, finding area or approximate area under a curve using rectangular approximations, sometimes referred to as LRAM, RRAM, and MRAM. TI Inspire CX, the handheld and software are now in color. Why would you want to use this? It is a learning tool and a teaching tool. It is no longer just a graphing calculator with a touchpad and in color, as I said before. Students often have a difficult time understanding how to approximate the area under a curve using left, right, and midpoint rectangles. With TI Inspire CX, students can investigate for themselves. Watch. Here we're going to be emulating exactly what a student would be doing on his or her handheld using the SmartView emulator software. This is page one, just kind of in color, a title page. Gives the uh, directions on the next couple of pages, which we'll kind of zip through because we're going to talk about them. And so here we have uh, the function y equals x squared plus one. And you can see the rectangles have their uh, height at their left endpoints, the red, the blue, the hot pink and the grass stain green. And we have the areas there. Uh, students should be able to calculate those by hand as well and would be expected to do so. The next page has the right rectangular approximation method where the right, right, right endpoint is the height of the rectangle and as shown there. And the color really helps to set things off. And then finally the midpoint one where the height is the midpoint of that rectangle. Now what you can do here, which is kind of nice, is you can change things. For example, instead of going from 1 to 3, you could now maybe go from 1 to 4 and see how it changes. And it dynamically changes as well. And students can see, you know, what that's going to look like. They still would be encouraged to do this by hand, but this is just another way. We could also um, even change the left endpoint. Or we could even change the function. I can go right here on here and say instead of x squared, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Change it from x squared plus 1 to x squared, let's say, plus 2. And you can just see what happens there. So the student's able to do some investigations uh, without doing a whole lot of work, but then again being able to do it by hand and being, but being able to visualize better. So to summarize, we have a picture from the left rectangle approximation method, which is about 10.8. We have the RAM, which is about 14.8, average being about 12.8, and the midpoint one being close to that average. And the students are able to visualize this, just to use a color, how the color coordinates with the values and the, and the areas, and uh, just helps the students quite a bit uh, with their understanding and being able to do these kind of quickly but again, still being able to do them by hand. This concludes the video.